I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood. Uh, it wasn't too safe to go outside and play. So my parents specifically got the video game so I could have something else to do inside of the house. And that's when I first encountered a quarter forward circle punch. <laughs> my life changed. <laughs> I threw a Hadouken <laughs> and it hit my opponent. <laughs> that that I was like, I'm 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 the master. I'm the master of everything. Like I'll never stop playing video games. In yeah, game. after that I was like, I'm the man. <laughs> um, but it was it was uh, at that point in time, you know, online gaming wasn't a thing. Uh, all you could do was connect with your cousins or your friends. Y'all would have to be in the same room together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you would have to wait months. You got to clean up your room before anybody come over. You're like, no, it ain't working no more. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, you know, as time went on and online gaming mm -hmm. came into the uh, picture, it was real interesting because, as as you spoke on, it's, it's definitely a dark side, and I didn't experience it. But um, I actually had some good experiences as well because I never really traveled around the world at all. So I'm meeting people from Japan, uh, Switzerland, Yugoslavia, Russia, Africa. Sometimes the connections ain't the best <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> Wi-Fi, but you end up meeting all of these people and you find uh, different ways to communicate and connect so you could, um, whatever the common goal is, especially when it's like team play, mm -hmm you definitely find ways around you know language barriers and connectivity issues like okay so we know you two seconds behind so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go two seconds ahead of you and then you come through because you lagging they are not going to expect you so, <laughs> so yeah. oh the, the red bar that guy yeah so yeah it's um the online community I, i've uh let's say you spoke on the, the the side where it's like oh my god why is this even happening but there's also a side where you develop some serious friendships and uh, understanding and correlations you can make just throughout life in general. One of the, the big ones that had this like an epiphany moment, like this is really effed up, is um, I was playing uh, Tiger Woods, whatever the first time you could create a character mm -hmm. on Tiger, right? And I'm like, okay, I can create my own golfer and everything else like that. I couldn't give myself any decent hairstyle. <laughs> And I'm like, Tiger has a face. Why can't I have the same hairstyle as Tiger, right? Like, it was either cornrows or I was bald. Like, that was it, yes, right? Yes. And um, I wasn't quite bald yet, I think, when I was trying to do that. So I like those kind of things in terms of, like, representation. So I want to open that up. Like, I guess I want to hear, like, the first time, the first time you could create a character that looked somewhat like you um, or the first time that you, you played a game that, like, you could see yourself represented in in some fashion without even having to go through that. So, mm. um, yeah, have at it. Like, what, what what are some of those situations? I mean, it's still a struggle for the right hair. Like, the Harry Potter <laughs> game that just came out, like, oh. the hairlines in this game are so disrespectful. <laughs> and, like, if I wanted to, if I want my character to have, like, a fro or something like that, or, like, some locks or something, I have to pay for that. <laughs> and um mm. and I'm like I'm not yes. giving you my money oh, there's, game. There's it's a paywall not, for the yeah, it's a paywall hair. for for natural hair. And still like the hairline starts like halfway back the character's head or like down right above her eyebrows. So it's like weird. Um and so like it's still and I think Bitmoji just got good hairstyles, like good natural hairstyles and it's like this is Bitmoji. Like it's supposed to look like me. Um but I guess the closest I came was um Soul Calibur 3 had a character creation mm -hmm. thing where you could have I could at least have brown skin. Mm -hmm. Um the rest of the features were not uh were just very eurocentric. Right. Um and then I was like I'm just going to have long purple hair because I'm like anime. Um <laughs> <laughs> that was the closest I could get and um yeah but that's the that's the first one I can remember because other than that it was or um Christy in Tekken. Mm -hmm. um, but and then she had like her little low cut pants and stuff and her brazier. <laughs> Buddy of mine uh, runs a site called uh, Intelligame Us or Less Intelligame. He's been changing the branding. Um, he's a very small streamer, has like about fifty followers, but like he has been very good about cultivating a very positive community and being very open with his communication. So as a mod there. A lot of it's sort of like I'm looking out for bots because bots still show up on all of these channels. Um, and I'm looking out for like people who are just coming in to start fights. And he usually catches them before I do. And he is very like open about it and tries to engage them. And then when 
they stop being like any type of receptive, we just shut them out because there's too much life to live and mm -hmm. we don't want to spend any time on that type of hate, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's been my experience with like a small scale stream or mm -hmm. sort of like, we don't need to put up with this type of stuff because we have the tools to stop it. Yeah. Even if it is just muting and it's not the most productive thing, but like we got to take care of ourselves first. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, um, I remember I got into a back and forth with someone um, and it started about video games, but we were talking about um, diversity and we were talking about something that, that I found was racist. And uh, they said, you know, after it all, I was like, well, I'm glad, you know, I think it's a good conversation to have. And I'm glad we're having a conversation. That's fine and good. I want people to realize that, you know, when someone tells me I'm glad we're having the conversation, um, that might be your first time having a conversation. It's probably like my third time of the day.